Hello, thank you for stopping by. I'm Venkata Dinesh Jakampudi, an embedded engineer working full time for Aquaco in the Washington DC area. In an attempt to gain an in depth knowledge on BLE stack, I have developed BLE firmware on an STM microcontroller with Cortex M4F core. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how Blue Energy MS Bluetooth module connected to the Nucleo development board by STM communicate with an app in my mobile. The Blue Energy MS is a very low power Bluetooth low energy single mode network processor compliant with Bluetooth specification version 4.2. All right, let's jump into the demonstration. In this video, and I'm, I'm going to demonstrate how I wirelessly control an LED in the development board. I don't have an external LED with me, so I'm going just so I'm gonna just toggle the LED on the board as part of this demo. So you can see the uh, green LED here right now is turned off, uh, so uh, we cannot see that. But later in the part of the video, uh, we can see it turning on and turning off. So let's quickly restart the board. I'm going to hit that restart button. Yeah. So we have two buttons here. This button restarts the device. And I'm, I'm going to use the other button to send notifications to my mobile, which I will be showing you later in this video. So on restarting the board, this broadcast undirectional advertising packets in connectable mode. So I named the device as Jakampudi. So let's see if my mobile can see the device. All right, you can see the device. Uh, so if you're wondering what is Jakampudi, that's my last name. Okay, so uh, if we see here, we can see the signal strength here as I keep it near to it. Uh, we can see it's minus 28 dBm, pretty much good signal and it is showing as uh, um, no services. So in fact, I do have a couple of services which I custom wrote for this application. It is not showing here because I have not listed them in advertising packets. Adding services to the advertising packets will help the controller device to uh, keep these uh, peripheral devices on top of the list depending on the service that is of the controller's interest. Okay, um, so let's see the advertising data. So when I click on that, it's showing me that I have two services and I have the advertisement data here. So I named uh, this local device as Dinesh Lab. Let's see, we have that device. Perfect. So it's saying the device is connectable, as I said before, and um, the local name is Dinesh Lab, perfect. And uh, transmission power level is eight, awesome. So we have all these things, perfect. So earlier I have mentioned that I have a couple of services that I added for this application. I have two services here. The first service has two characteristics. One is read and one is write. The read characteristic will read the status of LED. The, the, the LED which I'm going to turn on. And um, the right character shake can either set or reset the LED. We have one more service with a single characteristics which on an enabling can receive the notifications from the client. All right, let's enable the notifications. So I say I hit listen for notifications. So it's now uh, listening for the notifications. Perfect. So we are going to control the green LED on board, which is turned off uh, right now. So on application, let's read the status of the LED through characteristics that has read property. So this is the characteristic uh, that has uh, read property. So it's saying zero. We don't have LED, green LED glowing there. So let's try read again. So it's still showing zero. So I don't have a LED glowing. So let's turn on that LED by writing one to the right characteristic. So I'm gonna do write new value and I'm gonna give one. Perfect, we can see the green LED glowing here. All right, so uh, let me send a notification uh, to uh, my app on the mobile by clicking, by clicking this button. So on clicking this button, this is the service that sent notification to the device. Uh, that gives the status of the LED. Perfect, we can see that 
so this is the uh, uh, UV ID of my uh, Bluetooth device. It is saying that LED is turned on. So you can see again, it is one perfect. So let's see now uh, what I'm gonna get when I read the status of the LED. Read again. Perfect. It is saying the LED is turned on. Let's now quickly turn off the LED. I write a zero again. All right. The LED is turned off. Let's go read the property. Read again. We can see zero and uh, send some notification that the LED is zero. I click on this button. Perfect. We see uh, the LED is zero here. Yeah. So that's the demonstration uh, and. Um, I uh, know I have added the link to the source code on the, on the description. Uh, you can take a look at the source code and uh, I have also added some good documentation. Uh, you can and uh, what the board I use, what peripherals I enabled, etc, etc. So this is the simple format that I have developed while going, uh, while gaining an in-depth knowledge on BLE stack. I'm going to extend this by adding an MQ3 sensor which can detect alcohol.